Hey guys, so I had a client request some photoshopping for an image. Um, this subject, the hair is in the face, so we are going to fix that. So I chose, um, I brought my original image that I'm wanting to photoshop into, um, to photoshop, sorry. <laughs> and I also picked an image that I could replace that face with um, where she's looking into um, the camera at about the same angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the lasso tool and I'm going to just circle her head and shoulders, press command C to copy. I'm going to head over to my original image, press command V. Always remember if I'm going too fast, just rewind the video. <laughs> now I'm going to press command T. It's going to put a transform box around my, um, layer here. I'm going to click on the right corner and I'm going to drag and make it about the same size as her head right now. So just a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to drag and drop it somewhere over her head where her head was. I'm going to double click on that. And now I have this layer, so I'm going to come down and I'm going to do a masked layer on top of that layer. I'm going to hit the B for brush on my keyboard, um, and I am going to size my brush using the control option key, clicking to the right with my mouse or left, up or down to... Um, to soften or harden that brush. I want it soft. Um, again, I've taught you guys how to use the brush in other videos as well, so go check those out. Um, and so I'm gonna make sure that I'm on black. Black erases. Um, and so I am erasing this layer, and I'm just gonna tediously go in here. I can even erase some of her flyaway hair here. Hair, hair. Um, but as you can see, some of her flyaway hair from the background is going to show up. So um, just be aware of that. So this is kind of difficult sometimes to do to make it look normal, but you can just kind of come in here and just play with it a little bit and see, um, you know, where you need to erase and where you need to not erase. So there we go. We're getting a little bit better here. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, so we're looking better. And as I said, this is kind of tedious, but definitely worth it. It's an easy way to head swap. If you ever got a crying kid in one picture and you need to head swap, this is how I would recommend doing it. Um, so yeah. Okay, so we're looking really good here. Um, I'm gonna zoom in again and just show you a little before and after. So that also just showed me that you missed a spot over here. And before and after. This hair down here is looking a little peculiar, so I'm gonna clean that up. And then over here, I'm going to clean up. Okay, so we're looking good. Okay, so now that we've fixed that, the client has also asked um, to fix away some of her flyaways. This is a difficult task um, because if you want to use a stamp tool for this because you want kind of a harder edge, but you don't want to make her look like she has a helmet of hair. So I'm gonna make a new layer, Shift, Option, Command, and E. That brings all the layers up. I'm going to sample, I'm gonna use my stamp tool. I'm gonna to sample over here with the Option key and then click over here and replace that. Um, and again, this is a bit tedious, but I'm just taking away some of these flyaway hairs to make it just a little bit better. Um, uh, I have already told this client that this is kind of an impossible task and may look a little artificial if I go too heavy on it. So um, just want to, you know, be, be upfront with your clients. It's totally, totally okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to come in here and just kind of tediously take away some of this. Um, I can come in here and just like maybe try something like that, but like as you can see, that's starting to look very artificial. So I'm gonna Command-Z that, 
and I'm gonna leave it kind of about right here. Um, it's hard. It's a hard situation because if I do too much, it's going to look like a helmet. So I kind of just went in there and did a few flyaway hairs, but other than that, I'm going to leave it be just because I know that it's going to start looking like super artificial. So um, that is my tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment um, and tell me that you did. I would love that. And I will see you guys later.